From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Denny's in the US and the UK. This is Food Wars. This is an all-American slam breakfast at a UK Denny's. It consists of two scrambled eggs with cheddar, two sausages, two pieces of bacon, some American-style hash brown, and two triangles of toast. This bacon looks a little sad. I know you guys like crispy bacon in the US. An all-American slam breakfast in the US comes with the following by default. Three scrambled eggs with cheese, two bacon strips, two sausage links, hash browns, and a choice of either four triangles of toast or two pancakes. We went with pancakes. The largest breakfast in the UK is this, the Grand Slam Slugger. It's the same as the All-American Slam, but instead of the toast, you get two pancakes. Now, when I saw this on the menu, I didn't think changing the toast for pancakes would actually add that much size to it, but these things are huge. <laughs> I think two of these plus the rest, and that is a substantial breakfast. Our largest slam is the Lumberjack Slam. It comes with two pancakes, two or three eggs, I can't tell, grilled ham, you have a choice of two sausage links and two bacon strips or four of either, so I went with four bacon strips, hash browns, and four triangles of toast. Look at this. Now here is a guy who's ready for a full day of lumber jacking. You can get some of Denny's iconic sandwiches in the UK, including the Grand Slamwich. We're gonna weigh a Grand Slamwich in both countries to see whose is bigger. Now we all know the moons over Miami and plate version. I didn't know this, but apparently now is in sandwich version. And here it is. You got the eggs, you got the ham, right? This is a UK moons over Miami. I don't get that pun, I'm really sorry guys. No diner would be complete without American style pancakes in the United States. An order of pancakes comes by default as a two piece. One, two, one. An order of pancakes in the UK also means two pancakes. However, when I went to order them on the website, it also gave me the option to add a single additional extra pancake for $1.99, and it let me do that up to 99 times. So if you do really, really love pancakes, you can order 101 pancakes from a UK Denny's for a small, small price of 203 pounds and 80 pence. But how big are the pancakes themselves? We're gonna measure them to find out. So our pancake, I'm gonna say 16 centimeters across, and our pancake weighs, around 147 grams. Six inches? I once caught a pancake this big. Yeah, again, the Tinder profile, like the weight of a sing of the same pancake. This specific six inch pancake at Denny's weighs 148 grams. Here are all the items you'll find at a UK Denny's that you won't find in the US. And here's everything you'll find at a US Denny's you will not find in the UK. Let's start with the breakfast items. Our largest slam breakfast, the Grand Slam Slugger, is in fact an exclusive. We have a couple exclusive slam breakfasts in the US. The before mentioned Lumberjack. I mean, I'm curious about this, this ham, this fried ham steak. If you want to eat something at Denny's that doesn't go straight for your arteries, you can get the Fit Slam. It is two English muffins. I see a... Uh, Spinach, egg whites, tomatoes. Looks like feta cheese, let's get in here. I bet that's great when it's hot, but it is not hot and therefore it is not great. Next up we have the veggie breakfast. In here we have what seems to be like an omelet made with kind of peppers, some spinach, and maybe some onion as well. There are these little cubes, almost cubes, little square things of potato. And then just a couple of bits of uh, either boiled or steamed broccoli. And if you're not eating eggs, we have a vegan version. It looks like all they've really done is just replace the eggs with more potato. Benny, which is of course short for Eggs Benedict. Everything needs a fun name in America. With a poached egg, ham, hollandaise sauce, not to be confused with holiday sauce. That's pretty good. Of course, we also have a Southwest Benny. Southwest? Oh wait, no, this is like, has like chorizo and stuff? That actually kind of rules. I'm surprised, that's actually pretty good. Something that may mystify the UK viewers, as you will see various versions throughout this video of what I'm about to show you. Biscuits and gravy, chicken biscuits and gravy. It's gonna be some sort of combination of fried chicken or some cases steak smothered in the white gravy we have, a gravy that is filled with sausage and also on our biscuits, deep fried chicken, covered in our white sauce. It's a gravy that's sausage flavored, cheese, not a scone. 
Damn it, that's really good. Next to that is a Santa Fe bowl. Again, does Santa Fe just mean like salsa and chorizo? Get these type of potatoes, these sliced up seasoned ones, plus some mushrooms and veggies. Another fried gravy thing. This is a country fried steak. Yes, a steak that has been fried and put our white gravy on it. And it also comes with eggs. Kind of like a big McNugget. That's kind of more beef flavored. And speaking of steaks, you can get a T-bone steak and eggs. Denny's. What's with the what's with the onions and mushrooms, guys? I want a steak. Like I assure you, there is a steak underneath this. Yeah, there it is. There it is. T-bone. Doorstop of a steak. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. I mean, this is. <laughs> Man, they they destroyed this piece of meat. This thing is like the most well done thing I've ever been into. It's like biting into a wallet. Skip the steak at Denny's. We have a few omelet options in the UK, but only one of them is exclusive. It's the ham and cheese omelet. I'm surprised you guys don't have these in America because I'd say ham and cheese is probably the most commonly eaten omelet in the UK. So we have exclusive omelets of our own and they are way more elaborate than the UK's simple ham and cheese. Here we have the Mile High Denver omelets the ultimate omelet and the Philly cheesesteak omelet. Now you watching right now are thinking, hey Joe, which is which? I have no idea. So another game we're going to play in this episode is omelet roulette. What's in the omelet? What's in the omelet? So I'm gonna take a bite of each one and see if I can guess which omelet it is. All right. Denver, ham, peppers, onions, cheese. Next omelet, I'm seeing sausage. The question is, does the viewer want it to be tilted? <laughs> I think if we could put a poll on the screen, do I, should he tilt it? I think a lot of people are like, please don't. <laughs> yeah, this is the ultimate one. Sausage, obviously. Bacon, peppers, onions, mushrooms, tomato, cheese. And I've had, oh, everything's like so wet. Um, it's dripping with water. And this one must be there for the Philly cheesesteak. Grilled prime rib. Peppers, onions, mushrooms, Swiss cheese. Ooh, per rhyme. You will not find the following pancake options in the UK. Starting down here, they got the Choco Nana, which is chocolate and banana. Every one of these comes with like eggs and, yeah, you just don't get pancakes. I, I feel like I wanna point this out. Are you aware UK, because I haven't seen Harry's footage, every pancake order comes with eggs and hash browns and meats. Look at this, it's ridiculous, this is so much food. Next to that is the double berry. I mean, I see strawberries. Oh, because it's a berry pancake. Ugh, actually, it's not that very good. The strawberries are weird. Hardy nine grain pancakes. Uh, I can't tell how many grains are in this pancake. Can you at home? I have no idea. And the cinnamon roll pancakes. I'm sure at this point, the Cinnabon episode is out. Oh my God. Oh, that's trouble. That's really good. And at the end, this is really funny. It's a crepe. A berry vanilla crepe. There's something weird with their strawberries. We have some exclusive pancake options of our own. One thing to point out is that Americans have this kind of like pancakes for breakfast culture and that really does not exist in the UK. Over here, pancake generally means crepe, so like a thin pancake, and they're traditionally more eaten for dessert. Denny's pancakes in the UK are the kind of thick American style ones. However, the toppings and the sauces tend to reflect our dessert pancake culture a bit more. We'll start with a classic pancake topping, which is Nutella. I pronounce it Nutella. Some people say Nutella. Nutella. I've definitely, do Americans say Nutella? Do you guys say Nutella? That's horrible, please don't do that, it's Nutella. Over here we have the double chocolate pancakes. I think the double chocolate refers to the chocolate chips in the pancakes themselves and also this rather large amount of chocolate drizzle on top. Next up we have some strawberry dream pancakes which have not held up super well in transit, I'll be honest. These are looking less like strawberry dream pancakes and more like strawberry nightmare pancakes. What is this sauce that's just like fallen off the pancake? Like a very sweet, maybe like white chocolate, vanilla-y type cream thing. Over here we have the Oreo cookie pancakes. I think there are chocolate pieces or maybe the cookie pieces in the pancake as well. Then it's topped with some more of this kind of sweet cream stuff they have. Next up we have a Kinder Bueno pancake. Do Americans know what Kinder Bueno is? It's a chocolate bar, very popular in Europe and the UK. I don't know what the cream stuff inside of it is, but one of the best tasting things in the world. 
And then finally, because it's near Valentine's Day here in the UK while we're filming this, we can get some Valentine's pancakes. These red velvet ones. These are the exact colors that you see on snakes that you're supposed to run away from if you see them in the wild. We don't have any crepes on the menu in the UK, but we do have waffles. These are also generally desserts in the UK and Denny serves them in the following flavors. Here we have a fresh fruit waffle. Each one seems to be one whole circular waffle cut into quarters and then topped with powdered sugar and some other toppings. With the fresh fruit one, you're getting some banana and some strawberry. Here we have a golden waffle. That's a waffle with golden syrup, which is kind of like a British version of maple syrup. Some of the waffles on the menu also come as Liège style waffles. Liège is a place in Belgium, Belgian waffles. They're a little bit more dense than the American waffles. Next up, we have a Nutella waffle, not Nutella. Then we have a Kinder Bueno waffle. The sauce stuff really does capture the flavor of Kinder Bueno. You can just get a plain waffle with just some of the whipped butter that you get with the pancakes. And then finally, another Liège option is the banana and salted caramel waffle. Great flavor combination, big fan of that. Now that we've reset the table, let's move on to some other options, starting with sandwiches. Start here with the New York Melt. We're more American than the Americans. Let's try the pastrami. We're not very good at like deli meats in the UK on average. Up next, we have the three cheese melt. Pretty much just a grilled cheese with three types of cheese in here. Here we have the mac and me. This is a grilled cheese sandwich filled with mac and cheese and bacon bits. We've just been discussing double carbs and established that there are circumstances where double carb is okay, but the bread pasta combination in this circumstance seems to just unsettle me. For some reason, I can't really put a word to. Then our last exclusive sandwich is the club sandwich. You guys do have a club sandwich in the US, but I believe it has avocado, whereas ours it does not. We have a bunch of exclusive sandwich options in the US. I mean, the website splits them into classic breakfast options and meats and handheld options. All right, we'll start with the breakfast one, the Miami Spice. It's the same thing, except it's got jalapenos in it. Look at that. This, this thing is just dripping with butter. <laughs> and then we have the rest, which I don't think are supposed to be eaten for breakfast. They do have a brisket BQ melt and a brisket all melt which is not able to get today. But what we do have is the Cali Club sandwich. We also got the Super Bird. What? What is this like? Turkey, bacon, and tomato and cheese. Yeah, bro. The Big Dipper melt, which is just a, what looks to be a patty melt with about half a gallon of au jus. Look at that. I love a good patty melt. That's a pretty good one. Next up is this monstrosity. The fried cheese melt. Now when I heard that and put in for the order, I was assuming it was gonna be like, kind of like a way of saying like grilled cheese, like they fried cheese or just, it's just a, a funny way of saying grilled cheese. No, no, no. This is actually a sandwich that consists of mozzarella sticks. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the top of one of these. <laughs> Look at this. And it even comes with marinara sauce. Yeah. It even says in the script that Harry wrote, mozzarella stick sandwich, you've gotta be kidding me. We are not kidding you, apparently. We have one. That's the stupidest thing I've ever eaten. Other sandwiches you can get that I did not get include the Nashville hot chicken melt, the BLT, and the crispy chicken bacon ranch sandwich. In one of the boxes when we were unpacking everything, I just found three chicken tenders. I was a bit confused because we didn't order any chicken tenders. I ate them because I was hungry. Uh, and now looking back, I realized that that was part of one of our main options, which is chicken and waffles. You get a portion of plain waffles and three chicken tenders and some maple syrup. Combine them all, chicken and waffles. But unfortunately, already gone. Sorry guys. Moving on, we have the barbecue bacon burger. It's a single cheeseburger with two large rashes of bacon. For the vegetarians, UK Denny's also has a veggie burger. Veggie burgers just always look a bit sad, don't they? Also, where's the sauce, guys? Come on, this is dry as a bone. It smells almost like falafel or maybe like a vegetable samosa. And our last sandwich option is a chicken burger. General note here, Denny's, uh, please sauce your burgers. These are all quite dry. But here we have two chicken tenders with a slice of cheddar cheese in a bun. This looks like a spaceship. Is there a... a Star Wars spaceship that's shaped like this. That shape really like, I don't know, I don't know what it is. 
Then for the health conscious among us, we have two salad options, starting with the crispy chicken salad and a grilled chicken salad. In the US, we also have a ton of main course options you won't find in the UK. Didn't get all of them. I will start with the burgers. In the US, we have bacon avocado burger. There's also the before shown slam burger. That's all the grand slam breakfast in burger form. It's so weird, yet it exists. Let's get a little egg hanging out here. Uh, and the flame and five pepper burger. There's also a bourbon bacon burger that was not available at the time of filming. We also have bowls, bowls, bowls. So many bowls to choose from. I only got one. That's the Mama D's pot roast. I'm assuming the D stands for Denny's or delicious or deadly. There's also the crazy spicy bowl and the bourbon chicken bowl. Entrees, you saw a lot of this in the breakfast section, so not to waste too much time on it. First thing we got here is the plate licking fried chicken. And this one, I got a side of mashed potatoes and a little veggie medley. The next thing we got here is the sirloin steak. Who told you to smother this in onions and uh, mushrooms? And there's a hockey puck. Other side you can get, fries and a veggie medley. T-bone steak, you seen it, with corn and vegetables. That's right here. Country fried steak dinner. Two country fried steaks smothered in white sausage gravy. And of course comes with corn and I think that's mashed potatoes. And you can also get a wild Alaskan salmon. I'm not bringing cooked fish into the studio. Not happening, all right? Use your imagination. And uh, you can also get a Cobb salad. Didn't get that either, because it's a salad. What about the exclusive starters and sides? Well, in the UK, it's kind of like a beige buffet. Here we have chicken poppers. Just bite side pieces of fried chicken. This food is so dry, I'm having to skip ahead to the exclusives, which thankfully for me, includes beer. Three of our UK exclusive sides are actually forms of fries. Here we have cheesy fries. Chips and cheese is a classic British dish. So I'm glad that they uh, have localized their menu to the UK. Then in addition to the cheesy fries, you can add bacon to create cheesy bacon fries. And on top of that, you can add jalapenos to create loaded fries. This is like a Pokemon evolving in its three stages. Cheese fries evolves into bacon cheesy fries, evolves into loaded fries. It's the Charizard of fries. Then our last side dish is a British classic. It's everyone's favorite, baked beans. There they are. These do smell like British baked beans, so kind of like tomato based rather than barbecue. I don't have a spoon. Should I just sip from this like a little shot glass? They're beans. They're beans. What's that meant to go with on this menu? What, very what wouldn't this go with on the menu is my question. Waffles, probably. Uh, I reckon a bean pancake could work. You tempted fate here. <laughs> no, that's bad. <laughs> I can't even pretend that's good. Danny says boneless wings. This is what they look like. I don't know what sauces they have for dipping. Nobody asked. Other exclusive sides you can get in the US. You saw all the ones from earlier. These are ones that you've probably seen before. Biscuits and gravy, scones and gravy, an English muffin, ironically not in England. That's weird. We also have right here is whole grain rice. Other sides that we have either mixed within dishes you've seen or not seen at all, wavy cut French fries, season cut French fries, red rustic mashed potatoes, I saw those somewhere, the fresh vegetable medley, and the soup of the day, which is, from what I remember, beef vegetable, and they told us couldn't get it till after 11, and we picked up the food at 10.45. Now we're onto the desserts. Starting at the back here with chocolate fudge cake, with what at one point was whipped cream, then we have a few cheesecake options, starting with a Reese's cheesecake. Doesn't look very appealing. They've just kind of dumped what I assume is this kind of like peanut buttery, caramelly stuff on top of it. That's not bad. Moving on from Reese's, we have an Oreo cheesecake. So the same cheesecake, but with Oreo pieces crumbled on top. And finally, a Nutella cheesecake. One has fallen on its side, so therefore I can prop it up like a TV. Then we have some French toast options. I'm not sure why Denny's classifies these as desserts, but apparently chocolatey pancakes are a breakfast food. 
We'll start back here with Oreo French toast. French toast, not much of a thing here in the UK. What we have is eggy bread, which is like, you know, the similar start where you take the bread, dunk it in egg and fry it. But then we'll kind of have it as a savory dish rather than as a breakfast slash dessert. Then we have a banoffee French toast. For the uninitiated, banoffee is banana and toffee amalgamated together. Then we have strawberry dream French toast. Fresh strawberries and some vanilla -y icing. Here's three exclusives you can only get in the US and not the UK. New York style cheesecake. Whoa! Hey, I'm walking here. The lava cookie skillet. I'm assuming that's this. I can't even break. And it comes with ice cream for like dipping. Yeah, pretty good. And the double chocolate pancake puppies. Like hush puppies, but pancake? Mmm. Eh. Then we have a couple more dessert options and some milkshakes. Here we have a strawberry ice cream sundae and a caramel ice cream sundae. Ignore the straw. <laughs> I definitely did not think it was a milkshake. I think we have identified all the shakes. Uh, I believe this is millionaire shortbread, peanut butter shake, a white chocolate and strawberry shake, cookie shake, a vegan vanilla shake. Then this I think is bueno and this is Nutella. I think my favorite would probably be the millionaire shortbread one. Very sweet, but very tasty. And after all that, the final exclusive, alcohol. Thank God. We can get a few beer and other alcohol options here in the UK, including this Coors Light. I think there's a Peroni beer and some Copperberg fruity cider. Cheers, guys. According to Denny's.com, a website I now have an account with, the nearest Denny's to this studio in Burbank, California, and all American Slam will run you $15.29. An All American Slam from a UK Denny's cost £10.99, which at the time of recording this was $13.23. That makes the American version 15% more expensive than the UK's. But there's better value to be found elsewhere on the US menu. A stack of pancakes. These very pancakes. Wow, is this right? Two of these cost $3.49. Bro, that is cheap. Two pancakes in the UK. That'll cost you £5.79, which is around $6.97. That means that the UK pancakes are 99% more expensive. I don't consider Denny's fast food. I consider more of a restaurant chain like TGI Fridays. Even though Denny's does really lean into breakfast, it is 24 hours. So Denny's for me was always a place that you can go at any time. Just pretty much anything you would find in a diner, you'll find at a Denny's. I used to go there a lot in high school because you could smoke in a Denny's. Yeah, so in 24 hours, so we just drink coffee, smoke cigarettes, split an appetizer, and drive our waitress crazy. Harry wants to know, what time of day are you going to a Denny's? I think it's more like, what time of your life are you going to Denny's? To me, I could be wrong, but the only people I see at Denny's are teenagers who want to get out of the house and hang out, and they can't get into a bar yet, and retired people who want to have a $4 breakfast. So, once you come into this world on your own, you start by going to Denny's with your friends, then you go off, you live a life, you have a family, a career, you make an impact in the world. And once you retire, back to the same Denny's. <laughs> Full circle. I like the standalone diner from the 50s, has some name like Bertha's or Ethel's or Fred's, and you have as much coffee as you want, right? In a patty melt. Fries, yeah, that to me, this, the chain is like, no, I like, the, I like the standalone place. For me, I have to say this is quite expensive for what it is. We don't really have a diner culture in the UK, but what we do have is CAFs. CAFs, or short for cafe, are just kind of like a ubiquitous British thing. You'll find a couple of CAFs in every town where you can just get a really cheap and cheerful meal on the go in a hurry and it'll really, really sort you out, generally for a lot less money than what this will run you. Between CAFs and Greasy Spoons, which are similar but not quite the same, we really have kind of breakfast culture covered in that regard. That's where you're gonna get your full English, your toast, your kind of terrible cup of tea, but in like quite a nice way. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure Denny's would really be bringing too much to the table. When I say we don't really have much of a diner culture in the UK, I guess that's evidenced by the fact that chains like Denny's really haven't taken off over here. We had to actually travel to Wales, to Swansea, to get this one because that's where our only Denny's in the whole UK is. I gotta say it was kind of popular when we were there. It was pretty busy, lots of families taking their kids out for some food. I think maybe Denny's currently is just more of a gimmicky American style thing in the UK. If they did try to roll out, I'm not sure that it would be really kind of filling a void that we have that isn't already filled by calves, greasy spoons or something else. 
Unfortunately, Denny's in the UK doesn't disclose any of its nutritional information. Denny's in the US does, however, so let's take a look at some menu classics. One thing to note, especially with the slams, is that customizing your order can drastically change the calories. For example, take this All-American Slam. If you choose turkey bacon as your meat, hash brown as your potato, and white toast as your bread, it comes out to 1,050 calories. Respectable. On the flip side, you can get the All-American Slam with sausage links, french fries. French fries? Come on. And then upgrade your toast to an order of cinnamon roll pancakes. That doubles the calories of the meal, taking it to 2,300. It's 115% of your daily recommended intake. And the main culprit here, if it wasn't obvious, the cinnamon roll pancakes. Just two of these contain 1,100 calories. A nutritional information document from Denny's dated back in 2020 also suggested that two cinnamon roll pancakes with cream cheese icing contains 157 grams of sugar. That's 254% of your daily allowance. Zoom in for effect. Oh. These things are huge. I think two of these plus the rest, and that is a substantial breakfast. Wow, the size of my face. And I've got a big face.